everybody, welcome to RC Production. My name is Ray, and I join with Ray Choi. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, today I made a presentation and I'm gonna show you. It will be about the uh, facts and general idea of the history of computers. Mostly facts. It's a very cool. So you'll see in a moment. And um shall we see now? Because I'm ready. Would you see? Computer history by Ray. General idea and cool facts. First, let's go to the BCs. Oh, wait, sorry. I'll just tell you how it goes. From the BCs, it, they start from records. Then as time passed, they go to math, calculation, and it goes to programmable. So overall, we all have those. We can record, we can, we can do calculation, it's pro, we have programs, and pro programmable everything so let's start 3000 BC and the ribbons the paleos people in central Europe record Europe record numbers by notching tallies on animal bones next they used I uh, wait sorry they uh, used they used ivory and stone put stones too but they mostly used bones next 3400 BC. Egyptians delivered a symbol for the no number 10. Uh, it was used to simplif simplify the representation representation of large numbers. Next, Chinese abacus. 2006. I don't sorry. 2600 BC. The Chinese introduced the abacus. It was used for calculating. It could add, subtract, multiply, divide, square root, and others. And also was mostly used for census to count human population. The, the cool thing is that it was also used like it was used even in 1982. Next. Mechanical calculator invited by Le Leonardo da Vinci, 1580. I'm sorry, but I could have got the picture that Leonardo da Vinci made. So this is a this is a picture of a mechanical um, calculator. 1926. Semiconductor translator. The patent for semiconductor transistors that allow electrical currents to flow through computers. Passing data. This was the first one. The first first one invented in 1926. 1936. Uh, Conrad Zeus creates a pro programmable digital computing machine that introduces use of binary system and valves so this computer as we call computer it is a computing machine that is pro programmable and yes Conrad Zeus and his first the I mean the model name was Z-1 right here Next. 1939 HP was founded it was founded <clears throat> uh, by David Packard and Bill Hewlett as you see HP staff for Hewlett Packard David Packard and Bill Hewlett uh, in, in Palo Alto a garage in California next 1971 I have jumped a lot of uh, time because I put just really cool facts anyway 1971, Kenbeck won 
your first personal computer. It was about seven hundred fifty dollars. That's a lot of money back there. Nineteen seventy-two, boom, released. It is a game. I put it up just because it's just so cool, and it's a really famous game that everyone knows. Nineteen seventy-five. Microsoft is founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Then just the next year, Apple was found by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Donald Wayne. 1976. It's just a year after. 1980. Uh... The Seagate technology created the first hard disk drive for microcomputers. Uh, it was called the ST506. It just held 5 megabytes. As you see, 19. I think I put the wrong picture, but it is something like this. Next. 1981. Sony introduces and shipped the first. Three and a half floppy drives and diskets. 1983, Lisa was the, the Apple. Apple introduced, uh, you know, Lisa as the first personal computer with a graphic user interface. It was about like this was about ten thousand dollars, and 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 the. The operating system was called the Lisa Google or something. Next. 1991, Linux is founded. Uh, Linux is an operating system. Uh, yes, it was designed by Finnish university students called Linus Torvalds. Uh, Linux was uh, le le released to several Usenet news group on September 17, 1991. Very good. Mm. And 1994, Yahoo is founded by Stanford graduate students Jerry Young and David Fellow. They were actually started out as Jerry's Guide to World Wide Web before being renamed as Yahoo. And we now have um, quad core, quad core, C, uh, core uh, with uh, like a four giga height, uh, gigahertz, and it can uh, it can go until eighteen gigabytes of RAM. It has now we have now a uh, graphic card that goes to HD four thousand eight hundred series. And LCD frames. So I believe that in the future we will have like laser keyboards and really small, I don't know, really small things that a laser LCD um, monitor could be. Or it could be just a small projector kind of thing. According to Siri in the internet. Anyway, I think, yeah, this is every, uh, this is my presentation. And one sec, I'll show my face. Body. Um, I wish you guys all enjoyed it. And you realize I'm on fire. Anyway, um, I wish you all liked it. it was not, there was not a lot of specific information, but there were just general cool facts. Anyway, thank you, and um, see you next time. Bye-bye.